Hi, my name is Gudrun from GE Designs. Welcome to my live quilting chat, Tipsy Tuesday. Hi everybody, thank you for being here. Welcome to the show, whether you're watching us on Facebook or YouTube, I'm happy to have you here. Make sure you tell us your name and where you're tuning in from, wherever you are tuning in from. And I wanna just make a quick note, when you found this live, you might have seen there was a wrong date on top. So sorry about that. Somebody, something happened and changed it on us. It is, of course, December 1st today. And this is our 80th Tipsy Tuesday number 80 show that is pretty incredible so on the show tonight i will be sharing our tutorial for a quick and easy project our advent project number two i'm excited for you to see that we are also launching our second trimester of fast and furious club so you get to see the three projects coming up for december january and february um, I will also try and answer all your questions live, so just post them in the comments if you have anything to ask. And we would love it if you use your thumbs up and heart buttons. That helps us spread the word and spread the video everywhere. Of course, if you haven't done so yet, if you're on Facebook, make sure to like our page, GE Designs or GE Quilt Signs. And then, of course, if you're on Facebook, join our group, Gudrun's Quilt Crew. If you're watching on YouTube, make sure to subscribe and then you will never miss a show because you will be notified for sure. Um, so we have lots of folks showing up for us tonight. I'm excited about that. This is a big show. There's a lot to talk about tonight and I, we might go over the hour. I don't know. We might go. It's a lot. I will try and talk fast, but <laughs> I don't really want to talk fast because I want you to hear everything I'm saying. Of course, every show we have a giveaway at the end. We have two winners every show, one live winner, which is chosen randomly for, from the comments. So the more you comment, the better chance to win. And then we have a question at the end too. So if you don't get to catch our show live, you're watching later, you still get a chance to win. So last week we had our show, of course, Tipsy Tuesday. And my, our question, our giveaway question was, what is your favorite holiday cookie? And our winner from last week is Loretta Thorfinson Bernhoft. So congratulations, Loretta. I wonder if that name is Icelandic in a way. I hope so, because it really sounds like it. Her favorite cookie is Jam, Jam, Gems, Jam, Gems. Say that 10 times fast. <laughs> You'd be talking about gyms really fast. <laughs> um, first off, I want to start the show by thanking all of you for the amazing welcome to our Thanksgiving special, which was 20% off of all of our PDF patterns. All of your PDF purchases are making it possible for me to donate to our local food banks and I am so happy to be able to pay it forward all your generosity and your enthusiasm for my patterns and donate to the local food bank so we I'm happy to to present that we are able to provide 12,000 meals with our $4,000 donation to Second Harvest Heartland and I will also be donating $1,000 to Bountiful Basket located right here in Chaska uh, Minnesota, and um, I, I couldn't be happier. I'm, I'm so glad that maybe this will help some folks have a little bit of a happier holiday season and be able to have uh, a warm, nice meal on their table. So thank you so much for all your enthusiasm for my, my designs. I appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. Um, okay, so first off, since we're gonna be talking about Fast and Furious Club, this show, I wanted to show you what I was playing with this, this weekend. I, of course, the, the uh, November project for Fast and Furious Club was our Santa hat placemats. And I got to play a little bit with my Sola sewing machine and I added a little bit of embroidery. So let me show you in the overhead. So um, I my machine has a bunch of fonts built in so I had never tried to embroider through something that was already quilted 
but I just wanted to try it. I didn't even put any kind of a stabilizer or anything because I felt like the batting and the three layers of fabric would just do it and I just wanted to see how it worked. So I made these, I had three napkin or three table um, placemats, so I figured let me uh, personalize this for my little family in Portland, my son, his wife, and my, of course, my little grandson. So they are getting these, but this worked out really nicely, I have to say. I, I will be doing more of this. It was really fun and really quick to do. I love how I could position it perfectly with the projector on the machine. So even if I didn't hoop the thing perfectly straight, I could just twist it so the lettering would be nice on all of them. So this will be sent, and I know this is not a Christmas present. I'm going to send it to him now because they're probably watching and see it already. But I thought, you know, they want, I want them to use it during the month of December. So it's not going to be in a Christmas present. It's going to be like their Advent present. <laughs> so this will be going in the mail tomorrow, hopefully. Um, so I'm excited about that. So if you, I see some of you have been doing a little bit of embroidery on your projects. So I'd love to see, hear from you if you used any, anything, kind of a stabilizer or anything, or you just quilted or embroidered right through the placemats. Oh, hi, Kim from Cars. Great to see you. Um, okay, so I mentioned a little bit, if you watched our show this last Friday, I mentioned just a little bit about our plans for this coming Friday. We are going to have a very special show on Friday. It's not going to be our 3 p.m. show. It's going to be our regular Happy Friday show. It's going to be Happy Friday night show. And it's, it's a party. It's everything is locked in now. Our plans are locked in, and I'm so excited to share with you. So we are having a three-part party, <laughs> three in one, right? It's our little grand opening celebration, plus a book release party, plus it's my birthday. So I want to just personally invite all of you to come. Well, not in person, but we'll be live. So we are going to have a live show starting at 6 p.m. Central Time this coming Friday. And we'll be live for at least two hours. There will be lots of prizes. There will be live music by Kathleen Johnson and keyboardist, what is? Ryan. Ryan? Ryan. Uh, Ryan, sorry and keyboardist and and who knows maybe some other surprises so I will be there my staff will be there Mr. Honey producer will be there of course producing the whole show and who knows uh, of course it's locked out on all gatherings so that is it that's gonna be there in person but we're gonna have some fun because all of you are gonna be there right I cannot wait there will be cocktails there will be food uh, there will be a cocktail demonstration. There will be a show and tell. I'm going to show you all the quilts from the new book. I'm going to talk about them. And um, just a whole lot of fun. Of course, like I mentioned a little bit, prizes. We're going to give away prizes all throughout the night. And there will be a quilt raffle for charity. So I am so excited for all of this. And excited for it to be on my birthday and we can kind of bring it all together and we can invite all of you and you can all join me from your living rooms or sewing rooms or wherever you want to watch so i'm excited so who's going to be there raise your hand who's going to be there me 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 <laughs> me 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 yeah you need that meme <laughs> that emoji the wave your hand i'm there um, yeah, so I'm excited and um, I'm going to remind you about this because you're not going to want to miss this. Not going to want to miss this. All right, so we're going to move on to our project. So our Advent project. It's time for our second Advent project. And this is a quick one, fun one, and something that I have made multiples of in the past. And I will be making more. It was just, it's just up my alley. So I love giving gifts of wines, liqueurs. Sometimes I make my own liqueurs. And um, there's nothing like a pretty gift bag that you made yourself. So I have created this fun, quick little tutorial for these wine, or not wine, bottle gift bags. Because there could be anything in those bottles. 
So really simple, really easy. This one has kinky. Who wants that present? <laughs> this one just has apple cider. Uh, but they're so quick and easy and fun. And then this one has my bottle that I would kind of brew my own stuff in. Like this. Kombucha. Kombucha. Yes. I have given that away. I make my own kombucha. Maybe you make your own special cider. Maybe you juice, make your own juice blends. All kinds of things. And the best part about these bags, you can alter the size of them. So I wrote the pattern to just, or the sizes, just to, for a regular wine bottle size. And, um, but you can alter it easily by just making it wider, shorter, whatever you want to do. And then I played a little bit with embroidery. So um, I think we need to go to the overhead to show them real up close. This one I just loved. There's always time for a glass of wine. And, um, and then I showed you this one when I was doing this one. So a little, little um, ornament. And these are both, this one was um, from embroideryonline.com. This one was from scissortailstitches.com. And I know if you, those of you that have embroidery machines, if you want to find these, we are putting together a blog post that will be live tomorrow, and I will have links to these for you. This one looked totally different because it just was, it was all like the burgundy colors, and I didn't really like that because my favorite wine is actually rosé, so I wanted to have rosé in my glass. So I just totally changed up the colors, also just depending on what color thread I had. So I really love it, and you can just have lots of fun with it. But let's um, check out the tutorial, and then I'm ready to answer all your questions after that. And so, uh, Mr. HP, are you ready to roll the video? Hi, my name is Gudrun from GE Designs, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to make these quick and easy bottle gift bags. You can find a printable PDF with the measurements on GEQuiltDesigns.com under free patterns. So start by printing that out and we can get started. You want to start with your two pieces of fabric. You want to have your outer fabric and your lining fabric. And you can also even play with adding embroidery to your fabric first or applique or anything you want to do. And you want to do that first before you get to the sewing. So the two pieces are going to get sewn together along the short side. So you want to lay them together. And we're just going to stitch all the way down this side. We're going to press the seam open. And then get ready to stitch this together along the long side. But if you want to add a ribbon to tie into the seam, what I did, I just used a, you can use a decorative ribbon and you, I cut it about 30 inches. And what you want to do is fold it. If you have just one sided, you want to fold it right sides together like this in half to kind of crease the sides. And this you want to place on the outside fabric of the bag. And I placed it about five inches from the seam. So I just laid my ruler on there, placed this, and that's where I pinned this in place so it gets sewn into the seam all at the same time. You can of course just use a regular piece of ribbon and just tie it and not have it attached to the bag. Then you want to fold this right side together. You want to match this seam up and pin and pin in a couple more places along here. What we're going to do is stitch pretty much all the way around the long sides and the ends, but we are going to leave an opening in the lining fabric. So you will notice I will sew this side and up this side, then I'm going to leave about a three inch opening and then keep sewing all the way down here and across. Now before we turn this, we want to box the corner, so make it look more rounded on the bottom. And you want to do that both with the lining and 
the outer fabric. So we go to all four corners. You just kind of open this up. And what you want to do is kind of match up the seams on each side so that you can have both seams kind of falling to each side so they nest together. Then you know they are nested and this is a, a, a nice box here. And then I take my ruler, any ruler, and I make a box about an inch and a inch and a quarter from the tip here. And I just want to draw a line right across here. And then I just put a pin in here just to hold it in place. And I do that with all four corners. And then all we're going to do is just stitch right across that drawn line on all four corners. Once we have that done, like here, we are just going to cut this piece off. And now we're going to turn our bag right side out. So we go through the opening and then turn the whole thing. There. Now we have our little opening here and I just want to go ahead and stitch this. Since this is going to be the inside of my lining, I don't even worry about making it look all pretty. I just make sure that my Raw edges are folded in and I'm just going to top stitch it closed because nobody's ever going to see it on that inside. And now all we have to do is push our lining inside our outer fabric of the bag. So we push this in and make sure kind of the corners line up and get pushed out. And then we just at the top. And then all we do is fold that little cuff over to make it look really pretty. And it's really ready for a bottle. We can pop that bottle right in there, whether it's a bottle of wine or if it's homemade liqueur or any kind of juices. Maybe you make your own um, apple cider and then tie it. With a pretty ribbon you can hang ornaments from it monogram it do whatever you want and what a quick and easy way to give a nice hostess gift i hope you enjoyed learning how easy it is to make these fast and fun bottle gift bags whatever your bottle may contain my name is gudrun from ge designs and i'll see you next time So aren't these fun? I just, I love making them. And they're, they're, I have some questions. I saw, um, where do you find these cute fabrics? Well, we used to have these fabrics. This was a part of our bundle called Christmas trees. And it came out, of course, in June, like most Christmas fabrics. And I had stashed a bundle, half yard bundle away. So for, from two half yards, you can make three bags. It's perfect. So I can wait, make one more bag of these two fabrics. It's like a great, it's a great use for one yard of fabric makes three gift bags. Um, so you can, from a Christmas one or any kind of bundle, you can make so many bags. So let's do the math. 12 piece bundle would make, you need a yard from a yard you'll make wait let me think this one. eight 18 is it 18 get three from a yard and they're usually six yards three times six is 18 you get 18 bags from a bundle hey what kind of iron do you use? that's your whole big extended family um uh what kind of iron do i use i use a reliable velocity iron the one i used in the photo is just a uh, uh the last generation of it but they last forever, which is why I use them. The newest one, we usually carry it in the store, but it's been back ordered for about a month. Um, they told us that they'd be getting more end of November, so we're hoping. It's December now, so everything is late. Everything is about three to four weeks late, so 
I don't know if we'll get them for before Christmas. I'm hoping. But they are the absolute best. Absolute best. I've tried all of them. Cheap, expensive, all of them. How do you determine the height of the bag to fit the bottle? So, at, like, I, like um, the bottom of the bag will take about two inches. So if you have a bigger bottle, you want to have a wider piece of the rectangle. If you have, like, if you want to put, like, those bigger bottles, like liquor, liqueur bottles, um, this size, you want it to go over. So when I measured my bottle from the bottom, I wanted it to go like four inches over the top of the bottle. And that's the length of the rectangle that you need to cut, about so. And then I just measured the width. And you want it to be loose. You don't want it to be tight. That's not a good look. Because you want to be able to fold over and have that accent fabric um, show up. Because that's, that's, that's the cute part. All right, any other questions? Uh, when is the next Advent project? Next Tuesday. I told you it'll be four Tuesdays um, throughout these, our Advent period. So always, we had our first Sunday of Advent, so we did it the first one before that. So this is Tuesday before the second Sunday of, of Advent. So then next week, so we'll have two more. But I wanted to talk about the, the pattern. Um, so go to our website. Everything will be live. All the stuff I'm showing you will be live in the shop right after the show. So you can just relax, watch the show, and then go shopping after. And this is, of course, free. So there is a little printout with all the measurements that you need if you want to make them like mine. Uh, but then again, you can adjust them. And I just thought it was really cute. You can use ribbon. You can use cording. You can use rope, whatever, for the tie. You don't have to sew it into the bag. That's just really kind of handy. But you can just wrap it around. And I thought also, like, you could make, you could hang, like, ornaments or gift tags, homemade embroidered gift tags or something, and just really make it festive and, and totally homemade. So I just love, love that idea. What fabric did you use for Little Alberta? Little Alberta here, this is naughty and nice. So I had some extra layer cake leftovers from making the Octavia quilt that's in the new Stripology Mixology 2 book. And so I made it from those. I cut the 10 inch squares into five inch squares. And I had this black background from something else. And they were just worked out great. I didn't have enough for a long runner, so I made it a little bit wider and shorter because it just fits nicely on my island. So um, that's the one. And then the one quilt in the back of me on the ladder is, is actually Lexi. It's a scrappy Lexi, a very scrappy background and a Christmas Lexi. And I did add a border. You can kind of see it on the bottom, a piece border around it. But Lexi normally on the cover of the pattern does not have a border. And then on the wall is Haldora. This one is in my Quilts of Iceland book. One of my faves. Really fun to make from either fat eighths or fat quarters. So, all right. Will your Thanksgiving loaf recipe also be on the website? Oh yeah, I'll pop that on the, re on the website. Sorry, I uh, forgot about that one. But thank you for mentioning that. I know more people wanted that. So I'll <laughs> remind me, okay, to put my loaf recipe. You don't know the recipe, so you can't post it. <laughs> All right, so um, if we don't have any more questions about the bags, I think we need to move on to our Fast and Furious Club. I know you're excited for the next three projects. So again, we have kits. They will all be live after the show, so you don't have to worry about going trying to shop now, all right? So I want to just quickly talk about Fast and Furious Club. If you're new here and don't know anything what I'm talking about, Fast and Furious Club is a monthly pattern club where you, um, I post a pattern and a, a video class on making an exclusive pattern that's a quilt as you go project. So they're all smaller projects and in a variety of things. And so there's an opportunity to purchase the whole nine months, which includes September through May, which is nine projects. That's the best savings if you purchase the whole thing. And then when you do that, on the 20th of each month, the project will just appear in your account, the downloadable pattern, and the video that you can stream and watch as many times as you want, forever. 
And uh, there's also, if you don't want to commit to nine months, of course, the, we have these trimesters. So we finished the first trimester in December, no, in, in November. So now we are starting the second trimester. So this is the first time that everybody gets to see these projects for the, for the second trimester. And those will be projects for December, January, and February. And then we have a third trimester. So you can purchase trimesters at a time. And then if you don't want to commit to even that, you can still purchase individual projects if you want to just try one. You can still do that, and they will always be live on the 20th of each month. All right. Can I put this up? Yes. No, 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 you can't. <laughs> no, you can't. <laughs> we want to show them individually all the projects. So okay. let's start with our December project. This one is called Spruce Lane Table Runner. So this is actually a little bit of a take on a, pro on a pattern that was in an old book of mine that has been long out of print and discontinued. Uh, it was called Fast and Furious Holiday, and I had a runner in there called Spruce Lane. But I rewrote it, I improved upon it, made it even easier and kind of simpler, more, a little bit more modern. And this version of mine, I used the Scandi fabrics, but just monochromatic, just the grays to make it really cool to have throughout winter, even though it's a holiday line, but it really doesn't look that much holidays, really a wintry line. And then I actually also made a second version of it um, that is, I made it from the folk tale fabrics. There it is. And so this, because it's just pine trees or trees and spruce lane, that they could be uh, year round. So you don't have to make it in Christmas fabrics. You can make it either or. So here are the two. Um, love this one. So what you will learn in this class, we do, um, this is a floating square and a square, which is great because we don't have to match any corners. I'll show you how to do the triangle corners on the trees. And then it's just a really simple finish with two borders and a binding. And it's, it's so easy. It, this one is quicker than it looks like. So this is December. And uh, for January, we're going to make a table topper that I call True Hearts Table Topper. And there it is. So, of course, the project will go live in January, on January 20th. So you, of course, I'm thinking about Valentine's, but I want you to think out of the box a little bit more, even if you don't really celebrate a Hallmark holiday, <laughs> you know, Valentine's Day. But think about, you know, it's a great gift for anniversaries, for engagement parties, for weddings, for a, a lovely decor, anything you can think of. So I made two versions of this one. I made this, of course, traditional, just red, red hearts on a white kind of blossom background. And then I made a hot pink hearts on a gray background that is really cool as well. So we have both of those kits, both the, the simple red or the hot pink on the gray background. And so this one is very fun. You just used uh, eight, eight, um, fed eights for the hearts and then a background and binding and that is it. There's um, quite a bit of steps before we actually get to the quilt as you go part, but it's so worth it in the end. Nothing really to match and uh, it's, it's a really fun sew. And it's nice that it's octagon so you can have it on a round table and it really looks great. It looks great on my round table. So I am not giving these up for sure. All right, so moving on to our February project. Something that I've been wanting to do is uh, coming to life. This is going to be a baby quilt. So here it is, pitter patter baby quilt. This one is really a great sew so fast. And what you need is four fat quarters for the, all the fun fabrics. You need a half yard for all the background and then a binding and backing. So it goes together fast, but it's still unique and fun. You can let those fabrics really shine, easy to use directional fabrics. And I have made, um, well, we're planning on three different kits for this one. So this one that's on the screen right now is called uh, is from the fabric Outer Space, which I absolutely love. This fabric, we have it in bundles, but we are getting more to make kits. 
This kit is not available in the store right now because we don't have the fabric yet, but we put it put the listing up just so that you could sign up for notifications for when it, when it comes in stock. So then you'll get an email as soon as it's in stock. So, but we will of course let you know for sure. And then the second version uh, that I have made, uh, this one is actually, I ha don't have this fabric yet, but it's coming soon. This is from Animal Crackers by Moda. A really cute line, and this is any gender, I feel like. I think all, all, the, all the baby quilts I made are, are any gender because we, could, we shouldn't be so focused on color. But they're, they're all the fun little animal figurines from the Animal Crackers. And then the third one, which I really love, I wanted to really make a neutral one and make it look totally different. You don't have that one? Well, I can show them on the screen. That one I have right here. So this one is made with art gallery fabrics. And so it's all neutrals and um, just a gray background. So it has a totally different look, but they are, these fabrics are just adorable. So, um, this kit is the only one that we have available right now to order. The, like I said, the outer space kit and then the animal cracker one will be coming later, probably around like middle of January, but that, they'll be here in plenty of time for uh, February 20th when this fabric, when this pattern goes live. But the size of it is awesome. It's about a 34 by 41. So it's really nicely manageable. You only need a yard for backing. And it's just a great size for a quick baby quilt, a ba for gifts or for donations. I, literally, this takes uh, about three hours to make. Uh, binding on, I swear. This was really fun and quick. So I'm sure you have questions. And we can look at these closer if you have any specific questions. But I am so excited about these. I thought, you know, they were all very unique and something new to see. So there you see the whole trimester. And so you can purchase, if you are interested in just a trimester, that is available to purchase now. What, what you will get in your account, of course, not, no project will be there until the 20th of December. But what you will get right away is the fabric requirements for all three projects if you want to you kind of resource it yourself. And you will also get a couple of videos on kind of the basics of Quilt As You Go and things like that. So are all the projects, yes. So all the projects in Fast and Furious Club are Quilt As You Go. All of them, that's what's fun. And that's what's fast and furious. <laughs> all right, is that a free pattern for the baby quilt? No, that is for purchase. So Fast and Furious Club is uh, a fee, by, uh, it's got a fee. So. Of course, the better deal is to purchase either the trimester or the full nine months. That's when you get the best deal. But you can also purchase this individually, $14.95 for a single, for a pattern and a video class. How large is the octagon? It's a 29 inches uh, length. Yeah, 29. So it looks about that. All right, what is the fabric in the last project you showed? So this is by Art Gallery. Uh, it's called Pine. I'm so bad at remembering fabric lines. You guys, you know that. It's Pine something. This line was out quite a bit ago, so I think it's been over a year, and I was just able to secure uh, some of this fabric. I, I absolutely love it. I think it's really modern, and a lot of uh, new moms want a really neutral colorway, so I think it's just perfect. Do you put any of the tree pieces together before you add them? Nope, it's all quilt as you go. All quilt as you go. The whole thing. There's just this, the, um, actually the, the, the tree trunk is done before, that's all. How much is the trimester? The trimester is $34.95. So that's a really good deal for three projects, about $12 or so less. Uh, if you buy the full nine months, uh, I believe it's 89. I don't remember. So it's, it's even less. It's a, a little bit less than $10. Okay, is there another question on that? So like I said, you don't need the kits. We have these kits available that I showed you, these versions. Of course, they're limited quantities, but um, you don't, of course, need the kit to do the club with us. Will two bags of batting be enough for Fast and Furious nine months? Um, I think so, yeah. I believe two bags will be, be enough. 
one bag will get you far, but not all the way. It of course always depends on how many of each you make because I know for sure when you make one sometimes you just gotta. Can you use flannel for quilt as you go instead? Uh, I'm assuming this question is about instead of batting. Um, I personally don't like the feel of a project where you only have flannel inside it. I just think they're too flimsy. So, but you can, of course. Every anybody can do whatever they want, whatever you prefer. But but it works just the same as batting. You would work it just the same as batting. How do you order the trimester? So if you go to the shop on GEcoolDesigns.com under shop tab, you go to Fast and Furious season two, season two, and, um, and that's when you purchase the trimester two. That's where you'll find all the kits as well. But nothing will be live until after we're off the air. So just know we're watching live, so not, it's not there yet. You won't see it yet. Do you use the same batting always with Quilt As You Go? Um, I do now just because I've found something that I really love and really works well. But of course in the past I've used whatever I have. All kinds of batting scraps and um, with different results I should say. But I use, um, I use Bosal batting that's fusible on one side. By the way, it's, we got it back in stock. <laughs> um, so we, that's what, we, what I, I prefer to use. I love the feel of it. It's really nice quality polyester, and so my, my table runners and toppers don't shrink or anything. Could the strips for the table topper be extended longer in size instead of making hearts? I'm sure you could figure that out. You can do whatever you want. Um, this is all pre-pieced and done, so... Uh, maybe you just need to figure out your own pattern if you want to do something different. All right, other questions? Do you have kits for the next three months or just this month? I have for all three, except for the baby quilt. We only have the neutral version uh, available now. The other two will be available up around mid-January. So, uh, but you can, if you don't, if you really want one of those, they are um, live in the. Sh they will be live in the shop after the show, so you can sign up for notification because it just shows out of stock. Um, don't be don't be alarmed if it shows out of stock. It just means it's not. We did never had it in stock, but I wanted to have it in there so that folks could have the opportunity to sign up for notifications, because then you get an email as soon as it comes in stock. All right. When will the fabric requirements be dropped into your account? Right after the show. If you if you had a nine month subscription to the Fast and Furious Club, the fabric requirements will be there right after the show. When I get to my computer, that's how fast they will be there. <laughs> um, I made the large Noel tree skirt and had difficulty getting my batting to adhere. Do you have any tricks for large projects? Um, it would depend on what you're using. So if you were using fusible batting, I like to use steam. You know, they always say in the, in the instructions, the directions to put your um, iron on medium heat. I always use hot. <laughs> hot iron and steam. Steam helps it adhere if you're using fusible. Now, if you're not using fusible, if you're using spray, sometimes when the pieces are bigger, they, they do start flapping away on the edges. So what I always used to do, or still do, when I have to quilt big, big quilts and have to spray baste them, I use um, safety pins just around the edges, just to kind of secure the edges so then uh, it'll, it'll stay in place. It's just the weight of everything. Sometimes it helps, starts pulling apart on the edges. All right, any other questions? Any updates on Tim Holtz? Updates on Tim Holtz. I um, know they still are saying that it's going to ship in December. I, I am waiting at my computer like this, waiting for that shipping notification, um, but nothing yet. Would a stash builder bundle work for the February baby quilt? Yes, because we have four fat quarters, a half yard of the background. Uh, you'd have to piece your back if you want to use the half yards for your back, but... That's okay. You can put one seam in there. Um, yeah, so definitely a stash builder would work. All right. Anything else? All right. Well, I'm excited. Who's excited about these projects? I had so much fun working on them. Um, I was just finishing up binding on a couple of them last night, and I already have plans for more because, yeah, they are that fun to make. So, um, 
Should we move on to our other stuff that's new? Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, I wanted to show you the kits that we have um, that will be live in the store. So we have the two Spruce Lane kits. We have the Folktail, and then we have the Scandi. And then we have the two True Hearts ones. We have the Hot Pink, and we have the Red. And then we have the Pitter Patter, the Neutrals. So these are available now. This is the back. So cute. But um, so these are available, will be available right after the show in the store. And to, uh, at, I should say, as far as uh, inventory goes, limited quantities. Let me just say that three times fast. <laughs> but of course, I try to up the quantities every time. But I'm still going to apologize beforehand. If we do sell out, I will try my get best to get more. Uh, but I know for sure that some of these I won't be able to get more. Um, but just know that. All right, so we have more stuff coming. I did mention that the batting, the fusible bozo batting is now back in stock. And then we already have another order in to be getting more. But they, everybody is so behind on everything. So it, it'll be a while. Um, so if you need batting I, and wanted that one, I would recommend snatch that up. The kits do not include batting, but they do include backing. So they include all the fabrics, including binding and backing, but no batting. Because I know a lot of people have special preferences on that. So another thing that I, uh, in the process of adding to the store, and we got some in, I've always talked about, we have so much fun talking about my obsession with striped bindings and using stripes and diagonal plaids for certain parts of a quilt. And since we have now our sew along or quilt along coming up the next, in the next year for the Wanda quilt in the new book, I am stocking up on great stripes and great plaids that you could use for that sashing or just any kind of stripe needs that you need. So I just wanted to show you a few of these that we do have. And these are, I've been scouring the vendors for any kind of, um, I love finding diagonal stripe. We also have some regular stripe and then some diagonal plaids. Now this is just a sampling. We added a bunch on the website today. But these are all one yards, a part of our one yard collections. So there will be lots more coming. There's lots more coming. So I just wanted to show you that so you'll be aware on checking that out. And I already um, snatched two of these aside for uh, my ideas for my Wanda that I'm going to make. Yes, I haven't told you what fabric I'll be using, but I think I'm narrowing it down now. So I have a few options. But we also have a brand new bundle in the store that I absolutely love. I love it because it's just so unique, such a unique colorway. I love it for the fact that this was a small collection. Um, and then I added a bunch of basics to it to make it really comprehensive and balanced. And uh, like balanced with main prints and some tone on tone uh, basics. So uh, this one is called Desert Wilderness, and it's by Figo Fabrics. So it's all the fun stuff you find in the desert, of course. There's cacti and all kinds of uh, plants that you find in the desert. And I just love this because I, when I was teaching in Arizona uh, earlier, well, in January this year, I found some, some um, desert fabric. So this will go very well with uh, what I found there. Um, love this. I just love the colors of this, this fabric line because they're just so unique. So unique. So this is a little bit larger scale, kind of same effect. It's pebbling effect. Um, and then we got some, a light basic and we got a great stripe that has awesome texture. Really awesome texture. And then we have that main print in the dark background. And then we have all the tone on tones that I picked to go with. So this really awesome terracotta color, a little bit deeper red in this one. And then we have all the greens that you see from the lightest green and then into the mediums like that. And we have um, this really mossy deeper green and then kind of almost like a forest green, really cool color. 
So this is Desert Wilderness. Brand new, just got in today or yesterday and um, got, um, you're, you're the first ones to see it. So love this. I already snatched up some of this, just so you know. I knew this was going to be a, a popular one. And then I have another, well, it's not new, but it's back. <laughs> And just in time, because, of course, we just have our new book, Strabology Mixology 2. And when I did the first book, Strabology Mixology, I saw a need for this product because I saw people showing up at bars with their book asking the bartenders to make the drinks in the book. So I thought, okay, this is not going to work. We need little cocktail cards. So these are the little cocktail cards that I designed for the first book. So it's actually just, uh, they're little laminated cards. So they have a recipe on one side and just a pretty quilt on the back. But they, so you can spill on them, they won't get ruined. And they are small enough to just have in your purse. You can pull them out at the bar, hand it to the bartender and say, make me this. <laughs> um, and it has a really cute, cocktail like a, this one has a martini glass on it and this one is made by the same people that make the stripology ruler so it's a little acrylic martini glass and it, I thought it was great to get these back and these are also in limited quantities because we just had some some left from the printing but we have new ones coming so volume two is coming from the mixology too but it'll be it'll be quite a few weeks but i just wanted to tell you and, sh and these are really great little stocking stuffers and even for people if you know your friends that like cocktails and they're not quilters that's a great gift i give this to all of my friends that that don't quilt and they love this so that's all new in the store so any questions on any of that Desert Wilderness is the name of the bundle. So it was a, a fabric line by Figo, and then I added some of their basics in there. All right, will the kids show up on the Fast and Furious page? What is the neutral quilt called? Uh, we just call it Pitter Patter Kit Neutral. It's the only, only uh, kit we will have for Pitter Patter. The bundles will show, uh, the kits will show up both on the Fast and Furious uh, Club Season 2 page and also, if you just go to watch the new, go to what's new, and um, you'll see all the new stuff there. That's a fast way to find the new stuff. So I'm cu just curious, how many bundles do you get from a bolt of fabric? So you, bolt, um, fabric companies differ. Most fabrics come on 15-yard bolts. Some come on 10, some come on 8. <laughs> and sometimes something super weird happens, <laughs> but mostly it's 15. So sometimes we, uh, most times we get about 28 uh, bundles from a bolt. Is Wanda a separate pattern or in a book? Wanda is in the Stripology Mixology 2 book, the brand new book, so not separate, it's in the book. Okay, should we have a, take a couple more questions? Well, I do want to say this. We, let's, let's put up the Friday night party image again, just to remind you all what you're going to be doing next Friday night. This is what you're going to be doing from 6 to 8 p.m. Central Time. And don't worry, we will record it. You can watch it afterwards if you are occupied. But you don't want to miss it. We're going to have lots of live prizes. We're going to have a quilt raffle to benefit some great charities and um, some surprises. Some surprises, yes. Um, the Bountiful Basket and, and uh, Second Harvest Heartland already got their don donation from us so today. Excited about that. All right, so um, do we have a live winner? Do you have that ready, Mr. Producer? Here's our live winner, Lana Wood. Congratulations, Lana. You have won a $25 gift card. And uh, I believe we have your information, so we will add it to your account. If not, give us, a little, give us a little message or a little email, and we'll make sure you get your $25 gift card so you can go shopping. But other than that, I thought, we, I thought it was going to over, go over time. I got it all out in time. Job. Imagine that. Um, again, if you wanted to information on the embroidery stuff, I'm going to be 
trying some more stuff. So I'll be taking you through some more fun with embroidery. But uh, we will be putting up a blog, up, updating our blog post, our blog post about the Advent Project. The first one is already up, so we'll be adding to that blog post. And that's where we'll have the links to these. And um, you can get those same, if you want those same ones and really cute ones. Um, you can check that out. But, um, of course, we have our question for the second winner of the show that we will announce next week. Uh, we've been, of course, you know, getting all your ideas for Christmas cookies. What do we get? Holiday movies, games to play. And here's one more because we're on the hunt for some good TV series. We don't watch a whole lot of TV, but sometimes on the weekend we tend to like dive into something and just binge it. And just, uh, we actually just watched a whole series of Survivor because <laughs> they put it on Netflix. Did you do two? We watched both of them, yeah, but not in a weekend. We, we spread oh. that out. But, but yeah, we watched the whole thing. We kind of fast forward through the chatter and we love to watch the challenges but that was that was <laughs> fun so here's our question have you watched any great tv series or netflix hulu series lately and post what you what you've been watching i found a really interesting one that we actually it was just like six episodes or something because sometimes uh, netflix does this because you watch this you might like this <laughs> and this was a British show, but it was about it's when what is it? What was it called? Win the wilderness. It was a couple in Alaska that was giving their house away to uh, a couple that deserved it, and so six couples from Britain came and did all these challenges to win their property in Alaska. Well, it was interesting. <laughs> it was very interesting. So I like to find weird stuff like that, um, but it was cool. It was very interesting and. Um, I don't think I could do some of these challenges. Some of them, we would have been good. But jumping in the ice cold water, no. That's not necessary. That's not necessary. No, <laughs> not at all. Um, okay, so just so we remind you one more time, Friday, you know what you're doing. Next Friday, we will be December 4th, my birthday. Come and celebrate with me at 6 p.m. Central Time. Um, our happy Friday night instead of happy Friday show. <clears throat> and I will post the cocktail recipe, the goody birthday cocktail recipe early. I'll post it in the crew so you can <clears throat> join me. But then, of course, we will be live next week for Tuesday show and bringing you the third quick and easy Advent project. Make sure you share those projects if you're on Facebook in our crew. Make sure you share those because at the end of all four, we're going to do a slideshow on all the fun projects and what you've been doing with them. But that is it for us tonight. Make sure you post your co in the comments your answer to our giveaway question, and we will pull a random winner next week. But I can't wait to see you Friday. I'll be there with bells on. <laughs> Everybody, see you next week.